What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Lou, back in it again with my team video. Today's my team video is on the Mark Williams that came out with the next promo. And honestly, this next promo is kind of underwhelming, to be completely honest with you. There's only a couple cards that were actually really good, in my opinion. A lot of the shooting guards weren't even good. Um, but this Mark Williams seemed like he was actually pretty damn good. He's a center slash power forward, 99 overall, of course, because everybody in that set is a 99 overall. But he is 7'2", 242 pounds from Duke. And I mean, he has a 88 mid-range, 95 close shot, 83 point shot, 84 free throw with a 95 standing dunk, 95 driving dunk, 82 ball handle at 7 foot 2 is crazy. Um, he has an 84 pass accuracy with an 84 pass IQ, and his defense is looking incredible, to be completely honest, you guys. He has a 98 block with a 95 steal, 88 perimeter defense, and a 98 interior D. So I feel like if he's going to be able to play, like, tremendous defense, then his offense is just going to translate, to be completely honest, you guys. Um, cause if he's wide open with an 83 ball, you should be able to hit it, especially with a coach like Mike D'Antoni, you put a couple shoes on him and that three is basically a 92, so it really wouldn't even matter. Um, he comes with a 98 offensive and defensive rebound, so he's gonna be snagging. He has a 90 speed, which is a little bit slow at this point in the year, I'll be honest with you guys, but he is only like 20k, um, so you gotta keep that in mind. He has an 86 speed with ball, a 90 acceleration, 95 burt, which is crazy. A 95 strength, 95 stamina, 97 hustle, and an 89 lateral quickness. So he is going to be able to guard the perimeter a little bit. And his tendencies are looking pretty good. He has a 95 pass interception tendency with a 95 on-ball seal tendency and a 99 shot contest and shot block tendency. So he is going to be swatting the ball left and right if they try to go even near him. Um, he comes with 45 Hall of Fame badges, catch and shoot, corner specials, fearless finisher, acrobat, brick wall, post pick technician, drop stepper, put back boss, break starter, lob city finisher, pick pocket, rim protector, chase down artist, box, clamps, defensive leader, interceptor, intimidator, po hook specialist, post riser, rebound chaser, focal stick, post locked out, tireless defender, worm, back down punisher, rise up, fade ace, pro touch, scissor finisher, bailout, downhill, dream shake, needle threader, set shooter, Quick first step Hall of Fame, which is big, unstrippable, mouse in the house, bullet passer, limitless takeoff, grace under pressure, fast switch, menace, post playmaker, and hustler. And I'm actually glad he comes with post playmaker Hall of Fame because I literally always grab the rebound and kick it out to my shooter. Um, and I'll be able to shoot it every single time because that's basically a dimer for centers. Um, and he comes with 16 gold badges, difficult shots, teardrop with glue hands, dimer, pick dodger, off ball pass, limitless spot up three. So he does have it, but it's not Hall of Fame. A Giant Slayer, Unpluckable Sniper, which is huge. Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Special Delivery, Ankle Braces, Triple Dead Juke, Ball Stripper, and Team Value, and Laid Back. Which, uh, the two, like, mental badges really don't even matter. Um, but he's missing a lot of badges. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. He's missing a lot of shooting badges like Chef, um, Blinders, Lucky 7. So, if you guys, like, enjoy using the card, um, you definitely should put some of those badges on him, to be completely honest with you guys. Especially if you're, like, planning on using him at center like I am, to be completely honest. Uh, but we're gonna head over here to freestyle. We're gonna test out his animations and then we're gonna go from there If you guys are brand new to the channel subscribe to the channel We're on the road to 900 subscribers by the end of June I appreciate the love lately man and let's keep running it up man So mark Williams has hot zones literally everywhere and his jump shot is cash because I have used this card already I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. This jump shot is extremely cash. It honestly reminds me of like a Jalen Suggs or like a Trey Young type shot to be completely honest, it's extremely easy to time. As you literally see me right now, just green it. And even when I don't green it with that 83 ball, he's still going to make it in because I have Mike D'Antoni as my coach. And, I mean, this card is, honestly, from what it's looking like, he's worth a 20K. Because, I mean, he's 7'2". He can shoot. He can dribble. Like, I mean, the card is just, like, a beast for 20K, to be completely honest, you guys. He can dribble a little bit. Not too crazy. I mean, he can dribble pretty good for a center, if that makes any sense. Um, he is going to be catching bodies if you throw a lob to him or literally he's in the paint with a with the little dude on him and you just get a quick move and literally get a bucket every single time. So let's see if he can actually dunk off that. And he can. He can. Check out his behind the back. So he has he does have Scottie Pippen behind the back. And I mean that vertical is literally going to help him catch bodies left and right, man. So this card is going to be an absolute beast. There's really not much more about the card that you need to know. To be completely honest with you guys, his post fadeaway is cash. I mean, he's not going to be able to shoot fadeaways, I don't think, but we can try. I mean, he probably could, actually. He probably could. Let me try it to the right side because he is right-handed. Yeah, he could probably shoot a, a three-pointer. He could probably shoot. I just don't recommend it, but he, he definitely can shoot. Step back. Green bean. Yes, sir. This card is going to be a beast, man. Straight up. This card is going to be a beast. We're going to agree one more shot, and there it is, and we're going to go out to a triple throw online game. All right, so we're in the game right now. We are facing Steph Curry. We got Drew Holiday at the point, which is getting extremely burnt like this is the playoffs. I don't understand why they switched. Ben Wallace comes with the steal. 
Mark Williams is going to come up with a three ball because uh, I don't think he's going to be able to keep up. And wow, that jump shot is extremely, and I mean extremely fast. Wide open shot. He should hit that one. I'm not really surprised by it. Um, I will say his jump shot is extremely, and I mean extremely fast. So we get a stop real quick. We're burning. We're burning whoever this is. He's trying to literally make me flop. Wide open shot. You should knock that down. Let's go, Mark. So he is going to be a knockdown shooter. I will, like, put him in pick and pop situations to literally just get a wide open three. Or on fast break, just get him the ball, and he's going to shoot it. And he's going to make it every single time, to be completely honest with you guys. It's going to be a rarity that he misses. There's no way that Chris Abbs thinks he's getting past him. There's no way. I'm here, homie. I'm here. That is clamps. That is clamps, my boy. That is a good shot. I'm not even going to lie. He caught it and shot it really quick, and he got it, man. We're going to dribble off the ball with... Actually, you know what? We're going to run a pick and pop, just like I said. We're going to run a pick and pop. Get over here. He's reaching a lot. It should be an open three. Hit him with a step back into another step back. I mean, he's going to move eventually. I mean, he's too little. I'm shooting over him. I'm shooting over him. He's too little. See that right there? That comes down to his three-pointer not being that high. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. You cannot be shooting that deep with him, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, as right now, he literally snagged over Ben Wallace. And Ben Wallace has a 99. Oh, we're going for that body. We're going for that body. But as I was saying, Ben Wallace literally has a 99 rebounding. And he literally just outsnagged him pretty easily. He's going to give the Chris Tabs. We're already here. Don't worry about it. No way. He Ew. All right, let's run another quick pick and pop. Should be a wide open three. Yes, sir. I mean, that's how you got to run him, man. That's how you got to run him. I know I just bricked it, but I mean, that's not going to happen again. That quick first step Hall of Fame, Green Bean. This card is definitely worth the 20K, man. He's locking up everybody that's near him every single time. We locked him up. We locked him up. We're going to get this rebound over Chris Porzingis. Hit him a little behind the back. He's not going to be able to keep up. I mean, Green Bean, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. That if you guys just seen me do the Scotty Pippen behind the back, that is what's going to make this card feel so much better than every other center, man. Because you're going to be able to get uh, like a little bit of a speed boost with that uh, behind the back. So I'd recommend you guys using it every single time you come up the court. I'll show you next time he has the ball. I don't understand what Chris Tapps thinks he's doing because he's not scoring. He's going to give it to Chris Tapps. I'm already here. You better pick that up. I'm already back. I'm already back. Give it to Chris Tapps. That is a terrible shot, my boy. Terrible shot. He got the rebound, and he's going to get a free bucket, but it's all right. Actually, he did a lot of extra shit for no reason. Literally, I'm going to run up the ball with Mark Williams, and you're going to see exactly why I mean that you got to do the behind the back almost every single time, and, like, he's not going to be able to keep up. Look at him. He's struggling to keep up. That was me. I did it one too many times, and I got out of bounds, but you get the point. Oh, my God. I did not think he was going to be able to do that. That's at 95 vert, man. You guys should definitely pick this card up. Easy steal right here. I mean, they're just babies on low. They're babies compared to Mark. They're babies, man. I definitely recommend this card. He's definitely going to be my starting center. He was only 20K. I am down bad right now when it comes to MP, so I definitely need to keep Mark Williams because I need to be able to compete a little bit in clutch time. Um, and look how fast he is after the rebound, man. Like, where are they going? Where are they going? Nah, we're bodying him. I'm not passing it to Ben. I'm not passing it to Ben. He's a baby. He's a baby. Come on, man. I definitely recommend you guys getting Mark Williams. The only reason I'm saying that is because he's 7'2". He can handle the ball all tad bit. With that Scotty Pippen behind the back, you're going to be catching centers left and right. You're going to be able to block shots with that 98 block and the 95 vertical. And he can shoot the ball wide open. Like, I mean, the card is just definitely worth it in my opinion. Let me know what card you guys picked up from the next promo and what card you pulled, man. But it's been your boy Lou. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we out this time. Peace.